Hi everyone, my name is Ken. Today I love to talk about Gitty, um, especially its CI CD integrations. So, um, what is Gitty? So, if you are a developer and you have and if you have used GitHub or GitLab to store your code, then Gitty is pretty much like it. Uh, Gitty uh, is an open source software where you can, um, which acts basically like GitHub, where you can store your code and also uh, use GitHub action like syntax to craft the Webflow files to help you build your CI CD pipelines. And talking about CI CD, which by the way stands for continuous integration or continuous delivery uh, or deployment. Um, I find that uh, that uh, is quite an important thing for developers who want to build features quickly and also to ensure that uh, the new features or any code change won't break any existing features, which is called regressions. So with Gitty, you can build these pipelines to prevent regressions uh, easily. You can also use it to build deployment pipelines where you once your code once you have committed your code to the code repository on Gitty, you can trigger a workflow to deploy it to a VM, for example. So for that, I've drawn a diagram to illustrate that. Um, so as a developer, you start at the lower left hand corner. You commit code to a Git repository, and then you build artifacts and store the artifacts in. Uh, say uh, PyPy, uh, Python package index, or Docker container registry, or as a jar in Maven. And then you can also deploy it afterwards. And um, with CI CD, we want to automate the, um, the, the workflow after you, com you have committed the code. So each commit represents either a bug fix or a feature, and then uh, with this pipeline, this automated pipelines afterwards, you don't, you basically are done with it, because uh, uh, the pipeline will push your code to deployment automatically. Then, uh, so that's the nice thing about having a robust CI/CD. And with Gitty, you can achieve that too. Of course, you can do, uh, do that with GitHub. But then with Gitty, you host it on your private network. Then. Um, essentially, everything happens within your private network, and um, there's less uh, security issues as well. So um, I love to demo to you uh, how I use Gitty uh, in this video. So on the left hand side is my private re repository hosting hosted on my um, private URL. And uh, on the right is the superset VM that is running superset. And this is the superset dashboard. You can see that it is running, it's up. And when I refresh the URL, you see that some logs come up. It's the web server responding. Now I want to trigger a workflow where I build the artifacts and I deploy it to superset this VM. So firstly, let me show you uh, how the workflow files look like. Um, so you put it inside the .gitt folder inside your repository and you commit it to Gitty, then it will trigger those workflows. So basically they are just GitHub Actions. Uh, if you are familiar with GitHub Actions, it's a YAML uh, file where you specify what you want to do step by step. The nice thing is that you can reuse a lot of what uh, the community has built. For example, this like is to check out the code for repository, and I can use it straight out of the box uh, from the community. And um, so there's less code you have you have to maintain when you use GitHub Action in Gitty to to drive your CI/CD pipelines. And this is uh, the build artifact step, which is triggered by when I do a Git detect release. And then this is the deploy airflow. Uh, sorry, let me show you this. This is the deploy superset uh, workflow. Then, so to do that, I would do I would create a release uh, by using a git tag. So I enter the largest um, tag here. Then this tag is created, and then let's go to this action tab, and you see that 
but um, now the build artifacts.yaml is triggered and it's running with this tag and let's click into it uh, so here uh, on a high level I'm doing three things one is to zip the ripple in a file and then upload to um, to the Gitty artifactory uh, it's called a generic artifactory where uh, you can upload anything and then I also build Python wheels these are all Python wheels and it's uploaded to um, a private PyPy uh, artifactory also made available by Gitty. Uh, it doesn't require any additional configuration for these artifactories and once these are all built I will trigger another workflow uh, one of them is the deploy superset.yaml so if we go back we see that two additional actions are being triggered and uh, when I click into this you see that I now I'm fetching the uh, ripple zip from the URL if you open this you will see the zip but, um, this is download the zip and then X put it into the VM and then I'll rebuild the superset image you see I'm rebuilding it and then I'm restarting the surface in superset to make use of the new image so this is the journal CTL output and you see that now something is stopping the surface which is this restart surface um, right so it's now restarting and we click on this link okay so it's quite responsive it's loading it's loading stuff still loading but I hope you get the point that now it's back up and then when I go back to this uh, pipeline um, the restart is successful and it's restarted successfully and using the new image I hope that you enjoyed the video thanks